Hi there, this section is going to be section three in chapter one about measurement. So we use what we call the SI unit and it's the International System of Units. Um, our, that's what we use for science. In the United States, you, you know that we use a standard system um, with feet and inches. We do not do that in um, science because the rest of the world usually use the metric system. So when we have the metric system, there are some base units. So the basic unit for length is the meter. Um, the SI or basic unit for mass is kilogram. The SI unit for volume is a cubic meter, which is the M with the little three. For density, it's a kilogram per cubic meter. And for the second, it is a, uh, the second is the SI unit for time. Kelvin is the SI unit for temperature. You should not only know the words, but you should also know the symbols and the, sh the abbreviation for each. Okay, so you're going to hear terms like kilo, hecta, hecto, deca, deci, etc. Kilo, the symbol is K and it means a thousand. Hecto is H, means a hundred. Deca is DA, and that means ten. And then you usually have your base unit somewhere here, which equals one. Deci is just a lowercase d, it means it's 0.1 or 1 tenth, lowercase c for centi, and that's 1 one hundredth, lowercase m for milli, and that's 1 one thousandth. It's all on the base unit or multiples of 10. So you should know that the basic unit of length for the SI is a meter, and then these are how you convert it, and we'll be talking more about how to use a stair step in, in class to convert. For mass, it's a kilogram. Again, these are some common conversions. It's always on base units of 10. For volume, we use a cubic meter. Um, and one thing you should understand is that one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter. Those two things are equal. So it's really important to understand how those two things are related because if it's a milliliter, that means that we're usually measuring a liquid. If it's a cubic centimeter, that usually means we're putting, it's a solid, a regular solid that we can put a ruler up to. Density. So density is made up of two other measurements. It's mass and volume. In fact, it's a division problem. It's mass divided by volume. That's why the units are grams per cubic, center, cubic centimeter. The G is the grams, um, the, is the, uh, I'm sorry, the mass divided by the volume, and that's cubic centimeter. And it always stays the same, no matter how much you have of a substance. It does not matter if you have a brick the size of a brick or a brick the size of a building. The density, if it's made of the exact same material, it's going to be the same. Time, it's always in seconds. Um, and you should know that hours and seconds, those conversions, that one's pretty, that's what we're used to using. And temperature. Now, a lot of people think that the SI unit for temperature is Celsius. It's not. It's Kelvin. Um, you have to know that we use Fahrenheit here in the United States, which makes it really confusing. But the conversions are right here. So absolute zero in Kelvin, that's zero. So we're starting at absolute zero. That means no molecules are moving. And we go up from there. So Celsius, when it's a freezing point of zero, Kelvin, it's 273. Boiling point for 100 of Celsius, its Kelvin is 373. And that'll do it.